Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about how narcissists are arrogant. If that sounds good to you, do give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists are arrogant, not to be mistaken with confidence. Narcissists are actually very fragile and insecure. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They are full of themselves. They're very self-satisfied with an exaggerated sense of self-worth. They think they're very important, typically because of the attention we give to them. They extract narcissistic supply to fill this void inside of them because otherwise they would feel completely worthless and insignificant. Narcissistic personality disorder is characterized by arrogance, grandiosity, need for admiration, a lack of empathy, and a tendency to exploit others. They have difficulty regulating their self-esteem, so they need praise and affiliations with special people or institutions. They also devalue other people to maintain a sense of superiority. Narcissistic personality disorder is often comorbid with other personality disorders, such as a depressive disorder, histrionic, borderline, paranoid, anorexia nervosa, and a substance use disorder. Theory suggests that narcissistic personality disorder is the result of childhood trauma, which may include the parent or caregiver being overly critical or excessively praising, admiring, and indulging the child. Narcissists overestimate their abilities and achievements. They think they're superior, unique, or special, which is nothing more than an overestimation of their own worth and achievements, and it results in them underestimating the worth and achievements of others. They are preoccupied with fantasies of being admired for their overwhelming beauty or intelligence, or of having prestige and influence or of experiencing an ideal love. They typically target, use, exploit, and discard those who are far more valuable than they are. For a patient to be diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, they must show a persistent pattern of grandiosity, need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. This pattern is shown by the presence of five or more of the following nine traits in reference to the Diagnostic and, and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders 5th edition. An exaggerated, unfounded sense of their own importance and talents, grandiosity. Preoccupation with fantasies of unlimited achievements, influence, power, intelligence, beauty or perfect love. Belief that they are special and unique and should only associate with people of the highest caliber a need to be unconditionally admired, a sense of entitlement, exploitation of others to achieve their own goals, a lack of empathy, envy of others and a belief that others envy them, arrogance and haughtiness. Two of the nine traits mentioned in the DSM-5 are grandiosity, arrogance and haughtiness. Grandiosity can be defined as something that is represented as being larger or better than in reality. It's an unfounded sense of their own importance and talents. It's based on false and unjustified suspicions, rather than being based on fact or realistic considerations. So it may include lies, myths, or sometimes rumors. That means that there is no truth to it, which is why the other traits that are mentioned are arrogance and haughtiness, because they claim for themselves more consideration and importance than is warranted. They're unpleasantly proud. They behave as if they are more important than or know more than other people. And they may show an attitude of superiority and contempt for people who they perceive to be inferior. When it's fantastical, it lacks substance and genuineness in reality. It's false because it's unproved and unverified. The reality is that they are faking their abilities. 
Typically, a person's confidence improves as they develop the necessary ability, knowledge or skill to do something successfully. As they become more in, uh, uh, efficient and capable. But narcissists are displaying a fake persona. They're pretending to be a person they're not. So all they do is mimic confidence. Because if a person has a certain level of confidence, they should possess a certain level of competence. And some people may even be modest. So they may be more competent than confident. While narcissists act highly confident, but they are not as competent as they claim to be. Because they lack the necessary abilities and skills to realize how incompetent they are. They're just master manipulators. They know how to promote their cause and encourage your contributions and engagements. But they can never give you an example of their skills or performance, which is a red flag. Because when someone has the skill set, they don't mind showing. And they're happy to share and demonstrate what they've achieved. But narcissists express their skill sets in vague manners where they communicate in uncertain and focused or imprecise ways because they're exaggerating claims which they can't provide facts or support for because they're not telling the truth. And it's why when you ask them for more information, they become defensive because they're guarding something beneath the facade in order to, to protect their false persona. Because although they may not be efficient or capable, they still want to feel important, even though they haven't actually achieved anything. Which makes sense, because when a person has accomplished something, they don't feel the need to boast about it. They don't need to tell you that people admire it. They don't have to persuade you of anything. But narcissists do because they are incompetent, and they believe that if they can persuade you with their confidence that they are competent, then it must be true. But even if you fall for that lie, they will view you as stupid because they already know they're not worth your time. They don't see the value of having a real personality or skill set. They're only concerned with the outward appearance, with what things look or seem like rather than what they actually are. So whenever you're interacting with them, you're participating in a role playing game where they're performing the part of a character they're imitating the behavior of someone who is different to themselves and they're doing it consciously to fill a social role. While this is something we would do unconsciously because it's a genuine part of who we are. So we don't have to think about it as much, but they do it consciously because they're trying to make you believe that the person they want to be so that it saves a lot of effort. And as long as people believe it, that's good enough because they're very insecure. They don't care to actually be something for real. So they don't really have to do anything than to make you believe in them. While people who are competent will be trying to become more competent and you will see the difference because it's genuine. So it's not all about themselves while a narcissist's pride and arrogance is only for themselves. Even if you are very successful, they are not proud of you. Their pride is in how you make them look, the benefits and recognition they receive from your success. If they could remove you and have all of the attention on them, they would, because they cannot appreciate or accept another person's success. They only feel envy and they feel a desperate need to take whatever they can from you. It's all about them and it is never about you. And it's why they can't have a fair or meaningful relationship with anyone because they want to be chased and even begged before they even consider committing to basic standards or expectations. They overestimate their abilities and achievements. They think they're superior, unique or special. So they don't believe they should have to treat people fairly or respectfully. They expect you to make sacrifices for them. 
and they expect you to forgive and forget every hurtful thing they've ever said or done to you. As though they've only ever been this kind and wonderful person to you. They have an exaggerated sense of self-importance and they are constantly threatened by your presence because they're intending to do harm, which is why they can never feel love. They can only dominate and control and they see their errors or wrongdoing as nothing more than something that exerts power over them. Their mask is so convincing that they may even deceive themselves occasionally so they may not even be aware that they've been portraying an alternate reality because they always prioritise themselves and they demand that people cater to their every whim even though there often seems to be no practical purpose behind it they rarely acknowledge other people's efforts or achievements because they're driven by jealousy and they decide to steal from people who they perceive to be more successful than themselves so other people really aren't important to them at all. They focus heavily on the first appearance and impression because they don't believe in themselves enough to make genuine connections. Instead, they expect you to chase them and beg them while they revel in their self-importance and treat you with contempt. They want you to bend over backwards to help them and make them happy while you may choose to ignore their continuous attempts to deceive or betray you. They expect you to show forgiveness and compassion for their errors and offences. They would prefer if you did not bring up any negative experiences you've had with them, as, th as though you've only ever had pleasant encounters. But their arrogance and pride is what causes them to self-destruct. They are doomed to fail as a result of their prideful inability to accept that they require help or change. Because the reality is that they actually have no genuine advantages over you. They are doomed to a life of loneliness, anxiety and misery as a result of their inflated feelings of self-importance. But they are master manipulators, so they know how to make it seem like they are happy and successful, but it is all an act. Nothing ever brings them lasting happiness, which is why they don't hold on to anything because if they can't enjoy it, it's not really worth having. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it's narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.